Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy. Uh, pro welcome back to Programming Hub 254. Today, guys, I have a great content for you. Actually, uh, I have designed a simple portfolio website. So, in this simple web portfolio website, I have made so it has several subsections on it. Also, I've just in, uh, in this video, I will not show you how to make it. It's like a trailer. I want to show you how it looks like then i will make another i will upload another video showing how i designed it so let's start so let me show you the folder so here's the folder in the, which i've called it portfolio copy since i've copied uh from uh actually there are there are two folders it's only that uh the other the original one has some other things if you want to use then from them as you can see, I have a uh, this is HTML file, this is a CSS file, and this is a JavaScript. So from there, let me show you the codes. So I open my VS Visual Code Studio. Then this is the HTML part, which I think is about 200 and something lines. If I'm not wrong, yeah, these are 246 lines of codes. Then from there, in these lines of codes, it contains many things. It contains pictures, or like all these then from there we go to the css section in which the css section is uh 847 lines of codes so in this uh 847 codes it also include lines of codes of which are which design how the website will look on the phone and it's the same time on how to look on the computer so for example for the on the codes has started from 573 to 840 something so from there guys i want to show you how you can how the website looks like so i'll open my chrome uh, let me first ignore this one i'll come later to it so at this section uh this is how the my the portfolio the simple portfolio website looks on looks like in a computer or any other large screen so as you can see it has so many effects for example you can see that one it's moving you can also see when you click here when you bring the cursor here it draws a crimson line also when you come to the tab section for example you can see here it's changing its font family and also color changing the colors also having an underline as you can see and also as before also the tab is functional for example when i click uh, about to take me to the about section and to click to the services take me to the service section my works and even to the contacts home so as you can see which has so many transitions you can see software engineer full stack web developer and also when you come and see, you click this button though i have not added any link you can see its background it's transparent but whenever i hover it it goes upwards and its background changes and become a bit blurry so those are some of the and the effects which i've added using the css so this is about section a picture of me it's also a download the uh, download uh, icon also this is a basic information about me you can see how it looks like this is my educational background this is also another effect which i've added a hover effect so whenever i bring my cursor here it changes itself to a pointer as you can see initially the way the cursor looks like and then when i hover on the education background you see how it looks like it changes its color to, to crimson same case to the programming background, same case to the programming experience. So from there, that section, you come to another section called my services. So in this section, uh, for you to see the kind of services I offer and the amount, you have to hover the, uh, the cursor into the picture so that it can bring uh, another something, a hover effect which contains the book, the service data and the what's about the service and the price. So as you can see, it is so web programming that is building of websites database project that is working with microsoft access uh, software engineering that is building of applications code consultancy online 
tutoring you can teach coding like c c plus java python and the likes uh, microsoft packages that can work with the likes of excel access excel all those packages then this button and i made it with the the higher button i also added another animation which is a box shadow which you can see whenever i take my cursor you can see uh, there's a white light on the borders so from that section i come to my works so as you can see also to note you can see my navigation tab is fixed it doesn't move from there so also something to note when you when i bring my cursor to the my work sections you see the hover effects come from the left but in my service section you see it's coming from the top so that's another thing and also i've made this uh my work section such that for example this one is this is about a calculator which i've made so in this calculator you can see the codes and also you can watch each tutorial on youtube Though for now i'm not with the link but for the purpose of seeing the codes i have added a file which when you click it will take you straight to the codes where they are so here are the codes so they start from from there all the way to uh, this is this is uh all the way to here in this uh codes i have mixed uh css in this uh text it contains css part js part and the html part another part Apart from that, I want to show you the, in this project, in this video, I want to show you the contact section. In the contact section, sorry, in the contact section, you can see you have the social place for the social media links. Sorry. let's just ignore it so you can come and see it contains another section here when you have white print the cursor it looks beautiful it changes the color also these uh, important links are working as you can see then from there this is a copyright section which i've made with lab and from there i want to show you i want to show you this section in which i have made this section which uh, of how the website will look in phone in the form so this is how it will look like so it will look like this and also for the case of the tab you can see there are two three lines so when you never want to access the home the my services contact you just press there and then you press where you want it to which section of the website you want to go for example when i click contact it will take me directly straight to the contact section and then you come in and cancel there as you can see it has been brought me to the contact section so this is how it looks on the phone even nothing has changed it is just a matter of playing with the css that's all so you can see how it looks like in the phone and also you can change the phone screen so that you can see so for example for the case of the iphone 14 pro max let me add the percentage so this is how it will look like let me just put it 75 percent so this is how it will look like this is for the case of iphone 14 pro max another phone which i can put for example ipad this is how it looks like but whenever the screen becomes bigger the more it adapts to it and changes so as you can see so that's what that's the video for today guys if you have any query if you have any suggestion guys you can just uh, reach me out through my social media platforms and uh, can respond to you back if it is that necessary so guys thanks for your time